Hello humans, welcome, welcome back to the Carlin's Colorful Creations channel. If you're new to my channel, we shape and polish soft stones using a Dremel. If that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing. Today we're going to be working on this really nice flashy piece of organ sunstone. Uh, it's my first time shaping sunstone on this channel, but I'd like to shape more of it. And it has a really nice strong flash, should make a good cab. When we weigh it out, it weighs... 2.14 carat so if you guys want to see how the stone gets shaped and polished into a beautiful gem keep on watching so first off it's pretty clean in here. I mean, it's kind of hard to see through a sunstone, but you can see that there's like natural fractures and that's pretty normal. So I'm going to try to make a round cab out of this stone, kind of cutting off those sharp corners and hopefully we'll be able to make a circle making that the face. So starting off, like I do with all stones, I'm going to take off the sharp edges and start by creating a nice puck shape. Now, sunstone is a little bit harder than opal, so this did take a little bit longer to shape than a normal opal would. And that's kind of nice because it gives you time to analyze the shape and make sure that the shape is a uh, good one. Now the natural fractures at first honestly threw me off. I wasn't sure if it was going to crack apart or if they were healed fractures and it did turn out that they were healed fractures so I was able to uh, keep it together and get a nice stone out of it. Uh, once I got the puck shape going I kind of started flattening out the back and then I started on uh, bringing in the edges, kind of beveling it around the sides to create a dome on the stone like I would with any old opal. And I do this by kind of working in a circular motion around the sides. Uh, first, taking off the sharp corners of the face, and then I take down the bumps of the face to try to get it a bit more flat-ish and then I start uh, taking it and bringing it from the sides inwards towards the center of the stone to create my final doming shape and then I always end up kind of bringing it around the sides one last time to kind of help it have nice flat sides because sometimes you can uh, make a bit of an angle around the edges. Now moving on to my Nova points, I did notice that this kind of stone wore down on my Nova points a little bit more as it would, uh, so I was careful to make sure that I got the scratches out without damaging my Nova points too badly. And I did notice that in some of the areas that the natural fractures were happening, that it ended up looking like they were deep scratches there, but it was actually just the shape of the stone naturally, which was pretty interesting. But I did end up really liking that look, and you'll notice in the final result, you'll see it looks like there are scratches there, but that's actually just the separation of the stone and is perfectly stable. So this did take a little bit of extra time and care, to keep an eye on it and make sure that I did get out those scratches because it is pretty obvious with this kind of a stone. While it doesn't absorb water like Ethiopian opal does, it um, does, you know, get that kind of sea glassy kind of finish on it. And so I just take it, I dry it off on my shirt and keep my eyes peeled on the texture of the skin of it and the nice thing about sunstone is since it doesn't absorb water it keeps its flash the whole time that you're working on it so 
that makes it really fun to work on because you're always able to see the prettiness of it, kind of like if you're working on some Australian opal, but unlike Australian opal, you're not trying to um, be careful on this color bar. You kind of have a bit of freedom because it's just one piece uh, with good color running through it, and uh, as long as you can see good flash in the rough piece, you'll get good flash in the finished piece, which is always pretty nice. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know a whole lot about Sunstone. I'm trying to learn about Sunstone by working on it here, and I do find it really fun and interesting to work on. As you guys saw in my video a couple videos ago, I got a few different kinds of Sunstone in the mail more recently. Uh, this Sunstone I have had for I don't know, like five months now. I bought a parcel of uh, Oregon Sunstone that was just sold as Sunstone. It didn't tell me it was from Oregon. I'm just assuming it's from Oregon because I looked up what Oregon Sunstone is and it's this uh, orange kind of golden stuff. And it's really cool stuff. If you know more about Sunstone, please let me know down in the comments. I'm definitely going to be adding this kind of stone to my... Uh, entourage of stones here on my channel and um, yeah I really having a good time with this one it was really fun to work on this is what it looks like when uh, I'm done with the Nova points and you can kind of see what I was talking about with those natural fractures how they leave like divots in the stone but it's totally fine and it's totally structurally secure there is a little bit of a, like a chip off thing going on in the corner and that's just um that's a bit of user error there at this point it's 0.9 carats and moving on to the polish i was very careful when i was polishing this stone i didn't want to lose it but i'm not sure how this kind of stone reacts with acetone and during the filming of this this was right after the stayish opal um tragedy that I had here on my channel if you're familiar. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, I do suggest that you go check it out. It only has like I think 300 something views, so I'm sure there's a couple of you guys that maybe didn't see that, but uh, long story short, the acetone didn't agree with the stayish opal. I did get a comment from Pulitzer Opal saying that the one thing that he knows about stayish is to stayish the hell away from it, and I thought that that was hilarious, so I thought I'd share that with you guys. But, in polishing this stone, I did skip a few of the polishing roots, as you'll see on with my video that I'm not using every single grit that I normally would. I just thought that I'd take this as a moment to experiment a little bit to see if you need to go through every single micron to get a good glossy finish on it. And I found you don't really need to. As long as you spend a good amount of time on the polishing grits that you are working on, it's not a big deal. You get the good polish on it you get the scratches out and um, I was pretty satisfied with the results I went straight from this one to the end one I didn't even bother with the pink one in between and yeah it worked out pretty good it didn't wear away at my felt tips too horribly I bet if you have a lap like cab king machine um, this would go a lot quicker and be more fun and yeah I just thought that this would be a really interesting experiment and next sunstone I work on is probably going to be one of those ones that I got in the parcel that I broke down for you guys but the finished result weighs Point 0.9 carats still, so I didn't really lose very much of it. I think I probably lost, what, 1.2 carats. So overall, I'd say that this was a great success. Uh, this kind of stone can be used in a ring, 
which is really cool. And um, yeah, I love the golden flash that this has, the orange body tone, and those little white streaks that run through it are just so like visually interesting to me. Um, even though there are like little chippy pieces out of it and like little divots, I'm still super satisfied. But you guys see this parcel here? I'm giving this away. So I finally reached 500 subscribers and I can't thank you guys enough, but I can give away this parcel of nice colorful opals. Uh, they all have a pretty good play of color. Uh, they should all make good cabs as long as they don't start cracking on you. And um, yeah, if you want to win this parcel, Please let me know down in the comment section how much you think that this parcel weighs all together and whoever guesses the closest to the actual weight wins it and then I'll just have you message me at my email. And these are great stones guys, but that's not all. I'm also giving away this freaking fantastic crystal cab that's just beaming with color and again if you want to win this stone comment down below tell me how many carrots you think this weighs and whoever is the closest wins this beautiful cabochon and it really is a stunner guys and when whoever wins it wins it i'll tell you how much i'd charge for this piece i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did, I would super appreciate it if you would smash that subscribe button. Maybe like the video if you liked it. I would appreciate that. If you have anything to say, please feel free to leave a comment. I love it when people comment on my channel. If you have a friend to share this with, it would be fantastic if you would share this with that friend because I'm really not on many social media. And I'll see you guys next time that I post a video. Later!